Previously, I've done a couple videos on the Code 3 D-Tech rotators. The idea behind them being that you had a film, a plastic film, that allowed certain wavelengths of light to go through and others to reflect. And when you sandwich them together, you could have red coming through one side and blue coming through the other just by means of which they let through and which they reflected. I've often criticized and praised these as being innovative, but also somewhat ineffective. Uh, a lot of the problem with them, in my opinion, is the speed at which they're rotated and the fact that they're not synchronized with each other, so you get a big purple blur. What I've done here is I've affixed a DTEC rotator to a variable speed base and I ramp it up and down through the uh, range at which this motor can go, uh, starting at uh, extremely slow speed, almost kind of looks like a lighthouse or a halogen flasher, going all the way up to just above standard speed um, factory. And I run through it up and down a few times in this video and I think it's a good example of how these potentially on their own or if synchronized at a lower speed could have been somewhat effective or at least more effective. Um, I think one of the things that uh, they brought to the table was the ability to have kind of a cadence to the two colors that was similar to the way sealed beams used to be facing back to back um, and put the two colors red and blue or red and amber um, in the same spot in the rotating halogen light bar but I have not synchronized a group of them yet uh, that'll be the next project but I was able to take it through a variety of speeds so we can kind of prove that at a certain speed, probably somewhere in the middle, maybe closer to the lower end, um, the red and the blue are actually, they do have a pretty good pop to them. So the next project will be to synchronize a pair so that they flash the same color at the same time and then alternate colors at the same time to kind of compare and contrast that setup. So there's a few more minutes here of different speeds. Um, if you want to take a look and see which speed you think is the best um, or which is the most effective and which is the least effective, um, there's a decent amount more footage here. Um, otherwise, stay tuned for when I synchronize these up and do a full analysis of what is the most and least effective uh, DTEC setups. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.